So if you think you're too smart to be gaslighted by a narcissist, think again. Because it doesn't matter how smart you are, how educated you are, how worldly you are, how sophisticated you are, it doesn't matter. Narcissists have these strategies, these tactics that they use that will diminish even the smartest person into being a victim of gaslighting. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about those three tactics, techniques that most narcissists use to get their victims to a place where they can be manipulated and gaslighted, uh, no matter how smart you are. So before I get into it though, would you please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel? That is how I'm going to get in front of more people who really need this information. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Victoria McCooey. I'm a transformation coach. I work with people who are in toxic, controlling, abusive relationships with narcissists to help them reclaim their power so that they can move on and create fulfilling lives uh, that really serve them and get out of those toxic relationships. All right, so let's talk about those three tactics. The first one is isolation. So here's how narcissists use isolation to get their victims to a place where they can be gaslighted, no matter how smart they are. When you are in a vacuum, when you have no one else to uh, gauge your reality, it's very easy to be gaslighted, to be sucked into this place where you doubt your own reality, right? So when the narcissist tells you something that typically you wouldn't think is true, you have no normal frame of reference. You, you don't have a community of people to balance out what the narcissist is saying. And that's how you can easily be manipulated into believing whatever crazy story the narcissist is trying to tell you, which is gaslighting you. Um, so it means cutting you off from friends or family, moving you physically to a place where you're isolated, uh, not allowing you or uh, making it very hard for you to be around other people, to go out, to work, to, uh, to have a community, to be with the same people regularly so that you can form normal bonds with other people. Uh, the narcissist doesn't want you doing that because somebody might hold a mirror up for you and say, look at, look at what's going on in your life. Look, look at what's uh, happening. Does that seem normal to you? They're going to set you straight if you're close enough to people. So that's one of the first tactics a narcissist will use is isolation. The second tactic a narcissist will use is to diminish your self-esteem. So the way they do that is by telling you over and over, even if you don't believe it at first, if you hear it over and over, that you're not smart enough, that you're um, not wise enough, not worldly enough, um, not intelligent enough, um, not savvy enough, you'll start doubting yourself. Even if you know technically that you're smart or educated, the wearing away at your self-esteem that this does will make you start doubting yourself. You're going to start thinking maybe you're not as smart as you were. Maybe what the narcissist is telling you is true because you're now diminished. Your self-esteem has now been compromised. Um, they're going to say things to you like everyone knows and, you know, contrary to what you think, everyone knows the other thing is true. Everyone thinks. Um, you're, you're uh, a rule follower, you'll never be a leader. Um, I heard that one a lot because typically people who the narcissist targets are people like us, uh, like you and me, rule followers, type A personalities, people who accomplish things, um, task doers, list makers. Um, so they'll attack that because that's what's keeping us being productive and uh, how we operate. So they have to cut that down and make us think that that makes us not good enough. So they'll attack all the things that are inherent in your personality to make you think that they make you weak instead of strong. And the third tactic the narcissist will use is to make you 
physically weakened uh, so that you don't have the strength to think normally or rationally. So you will doubt yourself even more because you're not, you're in a brain fog. Um, so what they'll do is they'll burden you physically. So if you have children, all of the childcare responsibilities will fall on you. They'll make sure you never get a break. They'll um, keep heaping more and more tasks on you and make you feel that it's your responsibility um, and that you're not living up to um, what you're supposed to accomplish if you don't do these things, that you'll be um, falling short. And you know, because of who we are, we always want to rise to the occasion um, Overachievers, you know, we we want to accomplish as much as as we possibly can, and not to disappoint anyone, and to always go the extra mile. So what happens is we're exhausted. Um, we're doing all of the work and getting none of the credit. Just made to think that we are supposed to do this, that this is our um, what's required of us, what's expected of us. Um, also when you're constantly walking on eggshells because you, you don't, just don't know when the next shoe is going to drop, what is going to make the narcissist explode. And here's, here's the secret, it doesn't matter. The narcissist will explode when the narcissist knows that you need to be uh, worried or, or uh, shocked or um, upset. Right, So it really has no correlation to anything that happened, but we don't know that in the moment. We're thinking, okay, well, if, the, if I can keep the kids quiet, every, he'll be okay, everything will be fine. Or if I um, do the dishes, she won't get upset. Or So we, we think it's a correlation like that. It's really not, though. They're just going to explode for no apparent reason so that they keep you off balance that way. So they keep you walking on those eggshells. So what does that do? That That's exhausting. It's like you're in this constant fight or flight mode. So you're physically stressed. Your physio physiology is, is stretched to the max. Your um, enzymes and hormones and, and all the things, your body chemistry is completely altered when you're in this fight or flight mode but you're always in it. Your body doesn't get a break from it. So you're going to wear down physically. You'll get migraines or fibromyalgia or IBS or, you know, whatever, uh, back pain. You know, I've seen it all. It will manifest physically in you. And that is a tactic. Um, whether they realize what they're doing or not, it's, it's inherent in their personality that they make you feel this way. And the result is it keeps you off balance, uh, makes it easier for you to believe things that are told to you because you're not right. You're not your right self. You're not, you're compromised. So no matter how smart you are, no matter how educated you are, you can't combat all of these tactics being put on you all at once. Um, over time also, these it's like a slow drip, you know, it happens slowly, you don't see it happening, but over time, all these tactics are being used on you, and you're just slowly diminish diminishing little by little to the point where you actually believe all the crazy things the narcissist is telling you, and that is how it, you're going to be gaslighted. So... Believe me, I'm not judging. I get it. I understand how it happens because it happened to me. It hap I mean, I, I like to think that I'm relatively intelligent and highly educated for sure. And that didn't matter. On paper, I was much smarter than my narcissistic husband. But with all these strategies in place, I didn't stand a chance. Uh, I was diminished. Uh, I believed the outlandish things that I was being told by him because I was compromised. And maybe that's where you are too. So if that is you, if you need to make some changes to figure out what's going on, to take some steps, then I hope you will reach out because that's what I do. I will help you figure out 
what to do, what your next steps are. The first step to working with me is to book a free call. So you can book one right on my calendar. There will be a link in the description. Let's get on a phone call. Let me figure out what's going on with you. Let's talk about what you might do to take some action and uh, we'll take it from there. But I do want to help and I want to make sure that you can get out of this toxic relationship, make some changes and uh, create a new life that is really going to serve you. Um, because this is not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. There is no pill. There is no therapy for narcissism. So um, anyway, I hope you'll book this free call with me. I hope you found value in this video. If you liked it, would you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I've linked a couple of other videos here that I thought you might also like to watch. So I hope I see you in the next video.